takes 12 to 13 weeks from the time the banana plant's fruit stem first appears to the time the bananas are harvested. Experienced Dole Bananeros measure the banana fingers on each plant to determine if the fruit is ready to harvest. Harvesting takes place six days a week. A team of three bananeros will harvest the plants in this section of the farm. Bananas are harvested while they are still green, so they can ripen to perfection just as they reach consumers. First, protective foam padding is inserted to safeguard the sensitive banana hands from spotting and other skin damage. The entire stem is cut off with a machete onto the waiting shoulders of a bananero wearing a protective pad. The leaves of the harvested mother plant are cut off and the remaining stalk provides nutrients to the new daughter plant. The cut leaves are left on the ground where they will become nutrient-rich cumus for the next generation of banana plants. The bananero carries the bunch, which weighs about 65 pounds, to the nearby cableway system. Once 75 bunches are harvested and loaded onto the cableway system, the train of banana stems is pulled back to the packing plant at the center of the farm, usually with the aid of a mule. The cableway system encompasses all the fields on our farm and is about 80 miles in total length. Banana hands are cut from the stem and placed in a tank of water to protect them and to remove the excess latex found naturally in bananas. The leftover banana stems and the protective plastic bags are then recycled. A gentle water current in the tank moves the banana hands to the next station, where they receive another quality inspection and are cut into clusters of five to seven fingers. The clusters float to the next workstation, where they are removed from the water tank and placed on trays. Scales are programmed to accept the correct amount of bananas per shipping carton. The trays are then transported by conveyor to the next workstation, where they receive the worldwide symbol of exceptional quality, the Dole sticker. The cut stems then receive a post-harvest treatment to preserve freshness. The bananas are now ready to be packed into boxes specifically designed for long-distance transport. These boxes are assembled right on site. For quality control, packers personally identify each box they pack. Banana clusters are carefully laid in the box using methods that minimize any damage during shipment. Each box contains about 40 pounds of bananas. The bananas are wrapped in specially perforated material, which allows the fruit to ripen while in the boxes. To meet each customer's specific needs, Dole bananas are packaged several different ways. Loose banana hands, single bananas, and sealed in consumer bags. A last weight check ensures that each box contains the correct amount of fruit. The entire process from harvest to box is only two to three hours. The boxes are then stacked on pallets in preparation for transport. For quality control and traceability throughout the shipping process, each pallet is given its own unique pallet identification code. As part of our commitment to sustainability, the corner boards are made from recycled materials. Sometimes cardboard is used, but usually they are composed of recycled plastic created from the bags utilized to protect our bananas in the field. Once full, the pallets are loaded into shipping containers that will take them to a dole ship at a nearby port. As you have seen, bananas are quite delicate, so very little of our process is automated. To bring you this healthy, delicious fruit, dedicated workers provide hands-on care and attention at every stage. Growing top-quality, great-tasting bananas requires a lot of skill and dedication. 
At Dole, our plants receive individual attention and nurturing during every stage of development. A banana plant flowers and fruits in about nine months. Bananas are harvested throughout the year, with plants in various stages of their fruiting cycle in each of our fields. The plants require about nine and a half gallons of water a day, and the water table must be kept at a constant depth of about four feet. It's vital that a banana plant's roots not sit in water, so a well-designed drainage system for the entire farm is essential. During extreme rains, water is often pumped away from the fields. Banana plants develop specialized protective leaves called bracts, which turn red as they grow on the young fruit stem. At this stage, the bananeros cover the stem with a permeable bag, specifically developed to allow light and air in, but keep insects, disease, wind and weather out. The bag is tied to the fruit stem with a color-coded ribbon that denotes the expected date of harvest. As the fruit stem matures, the protective bracts turn a deeper color red. Flowers form at the tips of the individual banana fingers. To protect the fruit from damage, some flowers are removed at this stage. Early deflowering is carefully done with scissors. As the fruit grows larger, the protective red bracts are removed and the banana fingers now curve to grow towards the sun. The remaining flowers are removed by hand. This helps the plant direct more of its nutrients to producing large, equally sized bananas. The bract that contains the male flower, known as a bud, is cut off. Some of the lower banana hands are removed as well. One or two lower banana fingers are left on the stem. Referred to as heroes, these remaining bananas keep nutrients flowing throughout the bunch, making it less susceptible to disease, fungi, and bacteria. Latex may drip from the bananas and stain the fruit below it. We protect the lower fingers with the use of the dipa, a protective sheath that diminishes scarring during fruit development. At this stage, the plant has grown to be between 12 to 19 feet tall and weighs between 65 to 110 pounds. Unfortunately, these plants can easily snap in half under the heavy weight of their own banana bunches or can be toppled over by gusty winds or rainstorms. We prevent this by securing each plant to a web network of supports that cover the entire banana farm, giving each plant the stability it needs. Crop disease and insects are a constant threat to banana plants. One serious risk to our farms is black cigatoka, a disease carried by airborne spores which attacks banana leaves and can destroy an entire farm in a matter of weeks. Mature banana plants are tall with new leaves sprouting from the top center of the plants, so treating them for disease manually is difficult. Instead, they are sprayed from the air. We employ crop protection agents on our farms sparingly and only when necessary. Personnel that utilize crop protection products receive extensive training on their application and are provided with special tools and protective gear. Using GPS technology, specially equipped aircraft spray small amounts of fungicide over the targeted areas. Dole continually strives to develop new environmentally friendly methods of combating the diseases and pests that threaten our crops. It's part of our tradition of encouraging quality and quality and with the care and expertise of our Dole banana farmers called Bananeros. A mature banana plant may look like a tree with a thick trunk, but it is actually a giant herbaceous plant. That's right, bananas are the fruit of an herb. The banana plant itself is comprised of about 90% water. The trunk of the banana plant is called the pseudostem. The inside structure of the plant is similar to an onion with concentric rings. The innermost section is what's called the growing point. This is where the leaves are generated and where the fruit stem forms later on.
this humid rainforest environment, the plants grow quickly and require constant cultivation and care to produce high quality bananas. Once a field of banana plants is established, it can produce bananas for decades in an amazing display of regeneration. Each plant produces an ongoing cycle of three shoots. The first, or mother plant, is a main shoot that flowers and produces fruit only once. A new daughter plant grows from the plant base and becomes the new main shoot, which will also flower and bear fruit once. A third granddaughter shoot grows in the cycle too. It is the next generation or follower that will eventually produce fruit. As the stalk of a mother plant is harvested, it becomes a source of nutrients for the next plant. This repeated cycle of growth creates self-sustaining fields 